In this lesson, we're going to focus on the very first mental strategies for addition. We're going to look at the very basic mental strategies that can be taught to children of around four or five years old and then upwards. Of course, these strategies are very basic and are probably the first strategies that you want to introduce to your child. Reordering numbers and counting on. Reordering numbers is a very important strategy to teach your child because with addition, you can actually put the numbers whatever way around in the calculation that you like. So encouraging your child to put that biggest number first will really help them in their mental thinking and their mental ability. So give your child a selection of calculations where the biggest number is not first and ask them to reorder their calculation so that their biggest number is first. So they will then change it to 14 add three, 26 add five, and they can leave the last one, 31 plus one. And it is nice to put a little one in there that maybe is already correct to let your child pick that out and say, oh, I don't need to do anything to that one. That one is already in the right order. This is a great strategy because already they have the biggest number in their head. So it means that there are not as many steps for your child to go through and not as many step steps for your child to count. Once they're able to reorder the numbers, then you want to start thinking about that counting on strategy. Now, I have drawn on the whiteboard some blank number lines and it's absolutely fine to allow your child to record their mental thinking on something like a blank number line initially. But then you want to progress to moving away from that recording because of course mental maths is all about focusing in that mental capacity. It's not about doing a written method, but it is very, it is absolutely fine to allow your child to start recording in a written form so that they can actually think about what they want to do in their heads and you can actually see their thinking. So we're going to talk about using a blank number line and hopefully moving on to then visualizing that blank number line in their heads. So once they have reordered their numbers, we want to say, right, so the first calculation, three plus 14, we have reordered it to 14 plus three, we're putting the 14 in our heads. That is the same as putting the 14 onto our blank number line. So we've got the biggest number, 14 in our heads. Then we're going to count on three. Now, let me just add at this point that counting on is a strategy that at this stage, we will only want to be counting on small numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't want to be going counting on in jumps of 25 because again, that can be very confusing and it's very difficult for the child to ensure the accuracy of that. We will talk about strategies for using those bigger jumps later on, but let's just focus on those small numbers for the purpose of this lesson. So 14 is in their heads and they're going to count on three. Again, it is okay to encourage your child to put the three that they're adding on in their fingers to help them visualize that in their heads. And again, to physically do it with using that practical or the written method to begin with is absolutely fine as long as you're pushing your child to move away from that strategy and actually create a more mental strategy within their minds. So 14 in their head, and I actually always get children to actually point to their head so they know that they've actually got that number 14 in there. 14 and actually say the 14 aloud as well because that allows children to not miscount. They don't start saying 14, 15, 16 and counting incorrectly. If, you, if they start with that 14 in their heads, they can then just straight count on. So 14, 15, 16, 17 and demonstrated on the blank number line, 14, 15, 16, 17. We move on to the next calculation and we've already ascertained that we want to reorder this so that we put the biggest number first, which is 26. 26 in our heads, counting on five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And on our blank number line, we put the 26 at the beginning. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And even if you want to, when you've got that recording on the blank number line, you can actually go over it, check that you've actually done the five jumps, one, two, three, four, five, and recount again if there is some inaccuracy there. 
Last one, we already know it's already in the correct order, so we put 31 in our heads, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And on our white our number lines, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. If your child is not secure with counting on straight away, it's equally fine to do the jumps first and just say 31. I'll just get a different color for this. 31, one, two, three, four, and go back and count. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. It is equally fine to do that. The purpose of using the blank number lines in combination with the physical putting the number into your head is to show your child what they should be thinking about, what they should be visualizing in their heads. The more they use the blank number line like this and the more they practice between putting the number in their heads and using their fingers, the more they will be able to visualize it, the more they will be able to move on with that strategy and think more about those numbers as opposed to actually working with the written form. But again, as with everything, it really does take practice. And again, it's a great opportunity to just get your child to do this at any time, in the car, when you're driving to school, when you're driving to work, get them to count, put numbers in their head and count on, and then try to discourage that using your fingers. Well, can you count on three without using your fingers? Again, start with a very small number, count on one, count on two, count on three, and build it up that way but keep practicing and keep focusing on the idea that this is a mental strategy.